Hi everyone, welcome to the visual guide for the Siren Song C. This is the first new leveling dungeon made available by Final Fantasy XIV, Stormblood. Porting into this dungeon might make you feel like a start, but your party members might get bored. Try not to get too stern with them. My name is Mistech, and I'll be your dungeon guide. We begin by fighting waves of banshees on the ship. Eventually, we make landfall and the fun begins. Go through a bit more trash with a bit more AoE and you'll come across the first boss, Lugat. Amorphous Applause is a huge 180 AoE targeted at a specific player. Move behind the boss to avoid it. Hydra Ball will mark up a player with this stack up marker. All players should stand together to share that damage. Sea Swallows All will pull all players into the boss and then Concussive Oscillation will throw out large AoE circles to avoid. Overtow will push all players backwards and is often followed by a Hydra Ball, so be ready to run back into stack after you get pushed away. These mechanics will repeat until the boss is down. We head through a spooky ship graveyard, fighting even spookier trash mobs. Remember to avoid AoEs as necessary. The second boss is the Governor. During Shadow Flow, the boss will sink into the ground and put out a radial AoE pattern. Standing in this will blast you for damage and put up a stacking magic vulnerability up debuff on you. Avoid this as necessary. Bloodburst is a group-wide AoE blast that healers will need to be ready to heal through. Enter Knight will target and mark a player, pulling them in and applying a stacking magic vulnerability up debuff on them. To avoid excessive stacks, the affected player should run away from the boss. These players will be more susceptible to damage, so healers beware. Shadow Split will cause a number of clones to spawn. When the boss casts the next Shadow Flow, these clones will move to a random area of the room and sink into the ground as well, creating more AoE to avoid. Find a cozy safe spot and hang out until Shadow Flow ends. These abilities will repeat until the boss is down. Up next, more spooky island nonsense with the mini boss thrown in. By now you're a pro at this, so you know what to do. The last boss is Lorelei. She can target the tank with ill will and headbutt, which can hit pretty hard, so tanks and healers be ready. She'll cast the aptly named Virgin Tears, placing down large AoE circles around the room that apply a bleed debuff and do high damage to any player standing in them. She will then cast Morbid Advance or Morbid Retreat. If she casts Advance, players will be forced to walk forwards in a straight line. Retreat causes them to turn around and march in a line directly behind them. To avoid taking excess damage, players will need to position themselves in such a way so that they will not march through any of the AoE puddles. Somber Melody is a group-wide AoE blast that the healers will need to handle. As time goes on, the patterns for Virgin Tears will become more difficult to avoid, but the same principles apply. She'll also begin to cast Void Water 3, which will place an additional AoE puddle to avoid. These mechanics will repeat until the boss is down. Good luck on your minion rolls. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Up next, we'll take a look at Shizui of the Violet Tides. As always, thanks for watching. Till next time.